Hey, what's up, guys? You're watching The Game Store. They call me The Game Store because I deliver. Today's going to be no different. Lots of deliveries for you. Lots of news. We're going to be talking about the PlayStation 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and more. What? What? And also, Metroid Prime 4 stuff. Oh, yes. And we're going to take a deep dive into what Nintendo's doing and look at some evidence and really, honestly, kind of proof through studios. Let's look at the specific studios. Here we go. So I would like to say that there's some grand set of news about the PlayStation 6, 7, 8, 9, whatever, and all these other things. But the reality is, is the news is, you know, Sony just trademarked all these names. So what this means is in the future, if they make a new console and they decide, hey, I really want to name the PlayStation, the sixth iteration of the PlayStation family, the PlayStation 6, and they can do that. As of right now, our focus should be on the PlayStation 5, which is coming holiday 2020, which is going to be amazing. It's going to blow your freaking socks off. Oh, yeah. A rocket. <laughs> And that's what I'm talking about. So, ultimately, just know that although they've trademarked these things, it's just for naming purposes in the future. And it also gives us hope because we know that there is a future that they're not just going to, you know, we keep it. Every, every generation we hear that, like, it's going to end. This is the last generation. There's no upgrades available. But that's not true. There's just, come on. Until, until the day I die, there will be new iterations of consoles. There will be new generations of consoles because technology is only going to grow. It's only going to get better. Next up, Metroid Prime 4. If you're like me, oh my gosh, you've been counting the days until you could just hear anything, any small crumb falling from the table to hear about this game. And good news for you, there is some. It uh, looks like the Metroid Prime 4 team secures an artist behind Halo Spartans, Kyle Hefley. Uh, now, I will say my guess is the release date for this game is going to be late 2021, probably around Christmas. I know a lot of people are speculating that perhaps this could be a launch title for the Nintendo Switch Pro. But I think the pros already finished in development and also they might be getting ready to manufacture this thing. And we're going to be seeing proof around Christmas of this. Um, and this is, come on. I mean, it's far in the future. I mean, they trusted the wrong company initially. And I'm not going to hate by saying the company again. Can't do that, right? They trusted the wrong company with it. They put out a crap product and uh, Nintendo was like, nah, bro. Can't do it. So there you go. So now that Nintendo's doing it, they're picking up all the right people. And expect this probably at earliest around 2021 holiday season which to me is fantastic now what that does mean for me continuing to predict things like the nintendo switch pro i honestly believe that our 2020 to holiday season will be breath of the wild 2 which at that point the nintendo switch pro will have already released and we'll see major upgrades to the console so I'm just saying. I'm just speculating. You can call me wrong all you want because a year in the future, we're going to be looking back and saying, what, 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 Here's the big news. Are you ready? What is Nintendo working on? We can speculate all day. We can just talk about, well, I think Nintendo is going to do some great stuff. I believe Nintendo is going to do this and this and a Mario. But let's actually look at these studios real quick and just do a quick rundown of this and see what they've done, what they're working on now, and what they possibly could be. So the Nintendo EPD uh, production group, we're going to look at these. There's quite a few. These are like the internal, internal groups, okay? So production group number three, they were responsible for Breath of the Wild. So we know exactly what they're working on, Breath of the Wild 2, which is coming in the near future. Their fourth production group uh, worked on 1-2 Switch, Nintendo Labo, Ring of Adventure, as we saw it just came out. They're essentially the, the uh, risk-taker group, the experimental kind of weird stuff. So, I honestly don't expect anything different. I think in the near future, we'll see more iterations of this type of thing. And that's just going to be what it is. Some new workout thing, some new ring, some new concept, whether it be made out of cardboard, plastic, workout, whatever. We're going to see some weird stuff from them, and that's okay. I think that's cool. Nintendo always pushes the bar on delivering on some really cool stuff, and this production team does a great job. Uh, the fifth EPD production group was responsible for Splatoon 2, and in 2020, they are the ones responsible for Animal Crossing. Uh, and this is... It's going to be great. 
This new Animal Crossing game is going to be really good, okay? But after that, what are they going to be working on? Because this game's probably already finished in production or close. So my prediction is that Splatoon 3 will launch, you know, probably sometime in 2021. I think they're going to put together some really good upgrades for the game, push it out again, because it's a very popular game. Sells really well, pushes consoles, and let's just say it, it's going to happen. Eventually... Who knows what year? Probably 2021. But we'll see. We'll definitely see. Uh, group number seven. Uh, nothing so far in development internally. Uh, their last game was Nintendo, Nintendo 3DS game. There it is. Hey! Uh, it was a Nintendo 3DS game called, you probably heard of it, Metroid 2D. Right? A 2D Metroid? Yeah. So, uh, we don't really know. We have no clue what's going on uh, with their company or with their group. Could be something great. Could be another 2D side scroller. Could be another remake that's coming out for the Nintendo Switch of some other thing like Super Metroid again. Maybe they're porting that game. I don't know. But the thing is, we don't know what they're working on, which means they are working on something because they're working every day. And if they're working every day and they're working on something, then something's coming and we don't know. We could speculate all day. But considering what they put out last time, let's just guess. For the sake of guessing, that it's a 2D side scroller remake, remaster, something that's coming along the lines of Metroid. How about that? How about that for your Christmas stocking, Mr. Doubter? <laughs> Whatever. That, that's totally not even funny. It's okay. All right. So, group number eight uh, Super Mario Odyssey, Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker. Um, you know, they were behind the original and the port. And honestly, I can tell you, I expect a, because they're, they're hiring, Nintendo's been showing hiring and positions and all for artwork and you name it for uh what would seem to be a new mario game so i think they're working on a new 3d mario game already which is going to come in the future and as they always do i honestly believe that there's also a new 2d mario game coming as well so as we see we will see right it's gonna come yes 2d mario is always great me personally if they just added some dlc to odyssey i'd be fine like new worlds luigi's mansion world Mario 64 World, uh, which you're telling me, like, yes, they have one, but let's make a better one. Let's let's really go and put some of those stages in there and stuff. That would be so cool. Like, there's so many options that they could do. Uh, group number nine, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, ARMS. Uh, if they're working on anything, let's just be honest, it's probably going to be Mario Kart 9, which seems crazy. Okay, it does, but... Uh, you know, eventually it's got to happen. And Mario 8 Deluxe is selling extremely well, but that doesn't mean it's going to be the premier Mario Kart game forever. So I think that in the very near future, we're going to see this stuff. The new Mario Kart 9. 9! So, uh, EPD Group number 10, Mario Brothers U, Super Mario Brothers U Deluxe. I mean, um, they did the original, also the port with new content, Super Mario Maker 2, which we just saw, which means they're just probably starting on some new project and shifting over. And if they're doing this awesome what could they be making no freaking clue i know it's not going to be super mario maker uh it could be that 2d mario game that we were talking about perhaps the other team is working on 3d this team's going to work on a new 2d mario and they'll launch those not in the same year right um who knows could be at any point. What we do know is there are some cool games coming, right? And there are teams that have been set free in this first party by recent releases. Um to work on new stuff, which means there are new things that are going to be announced. There are new things that are happening, but I want to go a little bit deeper. So let's look first at some subsidiaries. That's right. Subsidiaries of Nintendo. You probably heard of a few of these like Monolith Soft. If you haven't played Xenoblade Chronicles 2, please just stop this video and go purchase it, play it. It's in my top three favorite games on the Nintendo Switch. It is amazing. Super good. Love it. Awesome. Just, just go. Seriously, just go. Anyways, they're also responsible for Xenoblade Chronicles Deluxe Edition, which is coming to the Nintendo Switch. I imagine that this is probably done. It looks great. That's an awesome game. I can't wait to replay it on the Switch. And in the future, my guess, considering the success with these games and how they're building a big, big audience and the attach rate is really high for the Nintendo Switch, is going to be Xenoblade Chronicles 3. That's my guess. Also, my hope. I love the way they do characters. I love the way they make games, okay? I like the way they make the games. I love it. Monolith Soft, you're the best, okay? Worst impression ever. All right. Uh, Indie Cube, Super Mario Party. Let's just be honest, Super Mario Party sucked. It sucked. 
I love Mario Party. That one sucked. No content. Why in the world would you not add more content to that game? Well, perhaps it's because you're making another one that's better. Why would you do that? I don't know. But if this team is not reportedly working on anything else, they're known for Mario Party. They made like a crap version of this game and pushed it out without that much content. It's got like two boards. But the framework is there for something better. Maybe they got rushed to push this game out the gate to get it on Nintendo Switch so that the first party could push the sales of the console and they're working on something better. That's my hope. That's my hope because you know what? I spend so much time playing Mario Party with my family, it's not even funny. Now, we grab hold of the old ones and we'll play for just hours upon hours every single day. And my wife's not even a gamer. This game has got my kids into gaming and oh, come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. All right, next up. Uh, you probably heard of these guys, Retro Studios, uh, Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze, Metroid Prime 4, okay, we know what they're working on, when is it going to come? Very soon, they just got a new artist, yeah, 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 so uh, I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, Retro, right here, right here, right here, right here, do us right, and in the meantime, Nintendo released a trilogy for the Nintendo Switch, for God's sakes, just do it, we want it. Also, Nintendo Software Technology, Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, important also new. We don't know what they're going to do. Maybe some more Captain Toad stuff. Who knows? Should we go deeper? Should we go deeper? Let's look at the partners and contracted companies really quick, okay? Because this video is getting out of hand long, which means we either have to talk faster in the video, make two videos, because typically I only make like a 10-minute video, and this is just going way, <laughs> way past where we could get. Okay, let's just do this, all right? So, first is HAL Laboratory. This is Kirby Star Allies, as you see, uh, and Super Kirby Clash and all that stuff. So, Kirby, Kirby, Kirby. Let's hope that a Kirby's not coming anytime soon because it kills consoles, right? Just kidding. Actually, it launched this, helped launch the Nintendo Switch. Did a great job. It's a lot of fun. But in the future, Nintendo, give us, or I'll say Nintendo, but actually HAL Laboratory, which is, you know, that's what we're talking about. Give us more difficulty. And we will love you, and we will purchase your game a lot more. Also, Intelligent Systems, Fire Emblem, Three Houses came. I don't know what they're going to do. They're probably going to push content for this for a long time. And in the future, maybe a new Fire Emblem. If you can believe it, I've only played a small amount of this game, and I desperately, desperately want to play. But time allotting, we will in the future. All right, next level games, Luigi's Mansion 3 coming in just like a couple days, according to this video right like one day when you watch this too i don't know we'll see when it uploads but this thing's getting rave reviews i haven't played it i can't wait i love luigi's mansion and this seems like the best version yet so once this game goes once this game succeeds all that good stuff i can see two to three years in the future getting a new luigi's mansion so expect it stamp it in your book uh camelot mario tennis aces yes 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 it was good i liked it it was cool i sucked at it so i didn't play it a lot but it was still fun What's coming next from them? I'm going to go ahead and guess Super Mario Golf, Switch, something like that, like a golf game. That would be a lot of fun, okay? I'm just saying. It's kind of like a void that you haven't filled yet, Nintendo. So, I'm just saying. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Grezzo Link's Awakening. This could be any remake, anything awesome. Bring it. Uh, good feel Yoshi's Crafted World. Could be another Yoshi game. They are always remaking these. And you know what? In the future, we can see that. Game Freak, Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. Platinum Games. Come on, man. We know what's coming from Platinum Games. We saw Bayonetta 1, 2. I'm actually currently playing uh, Bayonetta's newest game, Astral Chain. It is phenomenal. Okay. It's phenomenal. It's good. I like it. Mm -hmm. Super, super, super. Uh, Bayonetta 3 is coming next. If you haven't played Bayonetta, go pick up. It's 1 and 2 are on the Switch. Get them. Play them. They're super. Uh, and lastly, Team Ninja just launched Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3. No clue what they're going to do. All right. Anyway, so the point is that Nintendo is working. All these companies are working diligently to provide us with games on the Nintendo Switch. And these aren't even the third parties that we would typically talk about. So we know that there are a lot of things in the works. Nintendo Switch is going to get a lot of titles, and we have a lot to look forward to. Anyway, let me know in the comments below how you feel about all these game release ideas, launches, companies, all this stuff. Any bit of information you want to share about, shout it out in the comments. Also, like and subscribe for all things Nintendo Switch, all things awesome in gaming. 
They call me the Game Stork. Game Stork. Delivering news, reviews, and playthroughs like a newborn baby. <laughs> <laughs>